We have covered enough introduction to the Spring Framework and Spring Boot. Are you ready to develop a Spring Boot project? In this simple Hello World Spring Boot quick demo, when a client calls the endpoint localhost 8080 slash greeting, the Spring Boot application will respond with a default greeting message, Hello World. A client can also customize the greeting with an optional name parameter in the query string. The URL might then be localhost 8080 slash greeting question mark with your name equals Harry. The Spring Boot application will respond with a message, Hello, Harry. You will see how easy it is to create and start a Spring Boot web application. More importantly, I will highlight some of Spring Boot's key features as we go. Let's get to it. Let's create a Spring Boot project in IntelliJ. I am using the IntelliJ Ultimate Edition. IntelliJ Ultimate has a built-in Spring Initializer wizard for generating Spring Boot projects. What is going on here is that we as developers need to provide the necessary configuration, including the build tool, language, version of the Spring Boot framework, and any dependencies for our project in this wizard. IntelliJ then sends those configurations to the Spring Initializer web application at this URL to generate a Spring Boot project template. And then IntelliJ will download and import that project template into the IDE. But first, let's give the project a name. As you can see, while I am typing the project name, the artifact name or artifact ID is also generated. In Maven, an artifact is an output generated after a Maven project build. It can be, for example, a jar, war, or any other executable file. Let's pick Maven. The group ID follows the Java package naming conventions, that is, a reversed domain name. For example, here we will use edu.tcu.cs. The package name is a combination of the group and artifact name without the dashes. Make sure you are using JDK 17 or above. Packaging is jar. Next. Here, we should pick project dependencies. But make sure that you are using Spring Boot 3.0 or above. Spring Boot provides a number of curated dependencies that let you add jars to your class path. It is always a good idea to add Spring Boot DevTools. Since we're developing a web application, we will add Spring Web dependency. Later on, we will use Spring Security for authentication and authorization, and Spring Data GPA for data persistence, and so on. But for now, the two dependencies are enough for our quick demo project. That's it. Let's create the Spring Boot project. The Spring Initializer just prepared a Spring Boot project template for us so that we can start coding right away. 
But even without writing any code or doing any configuration, we can start the project. It's very simple. Just click the play button. Run Spring Boot Hello World application. As you can see, the fresh out of the box Spring Boot web application now runs on port 8080. Of course, it is not doing anything since it is just an empty project. There is no business logic in it. But thanks to Spring Boot's sensible defaults, we get this fast and nice getting started experience. A couple of clicks, and it is now up and running.